Hello, I'm Susanna Mackay from the MapTech Newcastle office. In this video, I'll be showing you how to assign attributes and values to triangulations. For my example, I have a set of stratigraphic solids that were generated through benching and batters. Each solid represents the horizons contained within each strip and block. I have then run some reserves on a heart model using these solids and generated a CSV which contains the quality and tonnage values of each of my solids. As you can see in my CSV, I have a column which contains the file path to my triangulation subfolder as well as listing each of my solids that I use to run the reserves. This column is necessary to have when importing values from a CSV to your triangulations. In this panel, you have the ability to set up and save specification files and different scenarios within that spec file. Then simply select your CSV that you want to import and select the correct delimiter and data definitions. An important part of this panel is the drop-down box, which requires you to select the column from your CSV that contains the triangulation file names. In my case, the column in my CSV is called region. In the Attributes tab, the attributes from your CSV will automatically pop be populated in the panel on the left. From that panel, select which attributes you want to import values for and use the arrows to add them to your list on the right. At the bottom of this panel, you can optionally choose to colour your triangulations by a legend. Here I have set up a map legend type for ash values. In the triangulations tab, you have three different ways of defining which triangulations you want to apply the attribute values to. I'll choose the bottom option to apply the values to all the triangulations that I have loaded on my screen. Once that is finished processing, you can then hover your mouse over one of your triangulations and you will see a data tip balloon appear which will be populated with the attributes and values for that particular triangulation. You will also notice that my solids have been recolored according to my ash legend. If you want to recolor your triangulations using a different color legend, you can do that through model triangle edit color by attribute. I've already set up a sulphur legend, so I can use that to recolor my triangulations. If you right click on a triangulation, and select Attributes from the context menu, you can manually edit attribute values. You can also delete them or add new ones. I 
hope you find this short video helpful. Please feel free to contact your nearest MapTech office if you have any questions.